Hi, Thomas from Field Tennis. The analysis of Fernando Verdasco's backhand is another video released in collaboration with Jason Frausto from Tennis Unleashed, to whom I'd like to thank for letting me use some of his videos for these unique types of analysis. Fernando is a perfect model for magazine covers and for the two-handed backhand technique, as he demonstrates the unit turn and the swing path beautifully in these two clips. One of the most common mistakes players do when preparing their strokes is that they use their arms too much. That creates unnecessary tension in the arms, which causes very inconsistent strokes. They use their arms because they can see that the arms and the racket move through space as the player is preparing their stroke, but they fail to see that all this movement was simply caused by body rotation. If all your focus is on the racket movement which you're trying to imitate, since you think that's how you learn correct stroke technique, then you will most likely use your arms to move the racket in the path that you're trying to copy, and not really your body. That's why I've removed the racket from the clip, so that you can focus only on the body, and notice that the preparation is really just a turn, meaning a rotation of the body around its axis. That's why we call it the unit turn, meaning that the body and the arms move together as one unit in this initial stage of the preparation. I've played the unit turn backwards a few times, as it becomes very clear that Fernando simply turns his body sideways without doing anything with his arms. This will become even more clear if you look at this side-by-side -side comparison, where I stopped the first clip when Fernando turned roughly 90 degrees from the ready position. If you look at his body and arms position now, you can see that they are almost the same as they were in the ready position. Perhaps that now becomes even more obvious when there are no more distracting things in the picture except his body and arms position. So to conclude, whenever you hear about the unit turn in tennis, that means that the body simply turns sideways and that the arms almost don't move at all in this first phase of preparation. All that the player is doing is turning his body sideways, but we can often misinterpret that since we see the arms and the racket move through space and we think that the player used their arms to move the racket. The second thing Verdasco does great with his two-handed backhand is the simple swing path since he uses the more straight back preparation rather than making a loop. The most common mistake again is paying too much attention only to the racket which may deceive us into believing that we have to swing a lot to prepare and to hit the backhand. As you can see the tip of the racket makes quite a long journey from the start to finish. But once we remove the racket and pay attention only to the hands we can see how simple and compact his swings are. What's really interesting about Fernando's two-handed backhand is that his forward swing goes almost through the identical path as his backswing. I believe that that's how Fernando gives himself the right feel for the swing path. When he does his backswing, he feels the exact path of the racket, meaning the curve of the swing, so that when he swings forward, he has a really fresh memory of how to swing towards the ball. Another thing that you can see here is how short and compact his swing is when there's no racket in the picture. See how short the distance is from his maximum backswing position to the contact point. Again, looking only at the racket might deceive you because you would feel that the distance from maximum backswing position to the contact point is really long. And that would cause you to take big swings at the ball and make it difficult for yourself to time it well and control it well. So to create a correct mental image of your two-handed backhand, Look at Fernando's preparation and his forward swing when there's no racket in the video. Let me know in the comments below if this helps you imagine your backhand differently and if there are any benefits to that once you go on the court. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Jason's and my channel if you're interested in more videos like this as we'll be releasing a few more in the near future.